folks, I'm back, it's me, Mabu Chowdhury, aka The People's Coach, aka your host and speaker for today. Welcome back to more of my mot motivational and educational and inspirational videos. Now in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about having ideas. Each and every one of us out there have ideas. I'm for ideas. I've got nothing against ideas but one simple fact. And that fact is this. An idea will be wishful thinking and it will only occupy the brain cell to the extent if no action is taking place by an idea. So you have an idea for example and you need to marry that idea with action then it becomes worthwhile, then that idea becomes a jewel, a gem then the idea has weight, it has value. But if it's just ideas coming in and out, in and out, and it's not being acted upon, then I'm sorry to say it's just dormant, it's dead, it has no substance, it has no value whatsoever. You only truly find out the worth of your idea once it gets put into action. And that's the thing I'm trying to bring to your attention, people. We have so many ideas, but why not take an idea and work on that idea. It doesn't matter if it flops, falls or fails. The fact that you're trying things out, the fact that you're going through trials, trials and errors and tribulations, the fact that you are doing something is worth, can be worth something in itself. Because you're getting the learning, you're getting the understanding, you're getting the experience from testing that idea out. Even if it fails, even if it doesn't work. And that's the thing I'm trying to bring to your attention. Do not let any ideas go through one thought into another thought and then all of a sudden it disappears. Even if the first idea comes into your head and it's just governed by many other ideas. Take that idea, grab that idea and try it out, test it out. You never know. You just never know how far you can get with an idea until you have actually put it into practice. And that's the thing I'm trying to bring to your attention people. You may know this. But I'm just here to remind you of what you know or what you have failed to put into practice. Because each and every one of us out there need reminders in our life. We need messages, signs, signals, warnings to help us move forwards. So people, if you want to add value to an idea, put it into practice. Do not wait for many other ideas to come in. How about the first idea? Like I've mentioned before, the first idea that comes to your head, put that into action. And it doesn't matter about how big the action is, even if it's just a minor little fraction of action. It may be of value, it may be of substance. You just do not know until you do something. And through putting that idea into practice, more inspiration comes of it. And more actions may manifest from it. So from inspiration, action, and more things that may manifest, you will get better results. And that's the thing I'm trying to bring to your attention, people. So let's put our ideas into practice. Let's start implementing our thoughts in terms of ideas. And that is how we will really find out what works and what doesn't. I'll give you an example. I think it was uh, Thomas A. Edison the light bulb inventor, I think it was, I'm not too sure, don't quote me on this one, but it was said that he tried 1,000 times before he succeeded in something. I think that's the guy, if, if not, the gist is the fact that he tried so many ideas out and he kept on flopping, he kept on failing time after time after time and eventually he got there. He just tried one last time, and every time that he failed, he tried another time, another time, another time. And that's the thing about ideas, you have to try them, you have to give them that bit of time to try it out. And if it works, it works, if it doesn't, then it doesn't. Then you just keep on refining things. And that's the beautiful thing about life, if you want to really grow, you need to look for better ways of doing things, more effective ways of doing things, more effective ways of implementing your ideas, your actions, and your intentions. It's like a computer, when you're editing, you're, you're cutting, you're chopping and you're pasting. You have to apply the same thing in life. Try things out, keep the things that work and add more additional things that work and get rid of the things that don't work, but learn from them. 
And that's the thing I'm trying to bring to your attention. Life is all about trying things out. We're always going to flop. We're always going to fail. But on the flip side of things, there's things where we, where we will prevail. And the reason why that happens is because we're trying things out. We're not giving up. We do this in so many areas of our life, but why not apply it in the areas of weaknesses? That's the thing I'm trying to bring to your attention, people. So take it on board. Let me know what you think. Until then, take care, stay strong, stay focused, and always live to learn to power and inspire the lives of many as well as yourself. Bye for now.